I took this picture on Lindisfarne. We've got Lindisfarne Castle here in the distance. We've got these rather fantastic old boats which have been cut in half, turned upside down and converted into sheds. Lindisfarne is a small little island. It's reached by a causeway when the tide goes out. It is off the Northumberland coast right up in the northeast of England. Absolutely stunning up there. Anyway, I've gone through camera raw. I've opened this image into Photoshop and I'm thinking, uh, right, what am I going to do with it now? Then I received an email informing me of a rather fantastic new plugin. It's a part of the Topaz collection. Let's take a look. The filter is found under filter. Good place to put it. So we got Topaz Labs and if we drop down to the bottom, we have got Topaz Textured Effects. Now if I click on this, just going to wait for a few seconds this is going to go off it's going to load itself and yeah that's the last one I used I'm going to click on custom because that's the sort of effect we're after we've got all these various different options now these make absolutely terrific starting positions and when I say starting well I'll come back to that but uh, just to show you some more if you go to browse this is where you can browse through all the other filters and there are loads and loads and loads of them right taking a look at the top here we have got both well what's all this about you've got local you've got community I've actually got both selected community click on the login off your go login and you can then upload your own textures they then become part of the community which can be downloaded by just clicking on these little icons here. You can see the number of downloads it's actually had. Some of the effects we got there are really fantastic. But for now, just going to wait for this to load through. And let's go back to the uh, the default screen. And now that we're here, we've got the featured. And from the drop down list here, we got my effects. If I just click on my effects, you can see they're the ones that I've just put together. We can also go down to favorites. These are the ones with the little blue heart. And the one I've actually selected for my start, start position, he says, trying to get his words right, is this one here. It's the distressed contrast. Looks pretty good. I think this really could suit the image. So we're going to click on this little icon here. Now, as this suggests, brings us through to all the various uh, options that we have with this. For example, I'm under basic settings here. I'm just going to drop the brightness down a touch or two like that. Let's take a look at clarity. If we drop the clarity down, you can see the way we can change this. I'm going to move it into that position there. Right, taking a look at the saturation, the temperature, I'm going to leave and tint. Masking. Interesting. I'll come back to that just a little bit later. Basic adjustment. Hang on, we've got basic adjustments up here as well. If you take a look at this, though, it is different. If you take a look at the numbers we've put in down here, you can see there they are. Take a look at the numbers we've got here. They are totally different. So, yes, you might want to go through and uh, change something like the shadows, drop that down into that position, but we'll leave those as they are. Textures. Now, again, with the textures, that's the one that goes in under the particular setting we got, which is de-stress contrast. But if we just zoom through, you'll notice there are loads and loads and loads of them. Just look at my blue square there. You've also got my textures. We've got bouquet, color wash, heavy grunge, etc., etc. The one I've selected is this one here. I think that really does suit the image. However, you may think it's just a little bit too much. So you can come to the opacity slider. You can just drop that down a touch or two, losing a little bit of definition with our castle itself. Let's go to fit on screen because now I think is a good opportunity to explore this. Uh, there it is there. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, mask. That's what I was trying to find. Right, let's click on this with spot. Now, spot actually clears the center part there. That looks pretty good. Or we can go to brush. Now, with brush, Let's scroll down even further. We've got the brush size of, I think that's probably a little bit big, so let's drop that down into, still a little bit big, into this area here. I've got a black brush selected. That looks pretty good. I can now just come around this area, up around our castle here. See any castle? It's actually was a holiday home. Really fantastic. Taken over by the National Trust. And yeah, if you're ever there, you must visit it. It's absolutely superb. Right, coming over, you can see that little spot. That's what we've done. If I undo it, we can now redo it so you can see the difference that makes to the image. Let's go back out to fit on screen by clicking on that fit icon. As I said, spot could also be a good one. So let's click on spot. You'll notice the way that's just cleared the effect from the center. 
brush is still there so that'll allow us to toggle back and forth between the two now with spot if I click on this you've got the center we can click we can move this around you'll also notice the little grab handle so I can click on that we can make it perhaps just a little bit uh, oval you might want to stretch it out you might want to bring it in a bit entirely up to you you've also got the transition which is a little bit like feather make a note of the number 0 0.5 we can take it up we can drop it down entirely up to you let's take it into that position there that looks pretty good you've got the color aware strength again make a note of the number move it back and forth see what it's doing just wait for those little blue lines at the top of the screen there then you know it's actually settled down you've also got density I'm gonna leave that as it is that's looking pretty good like that right let's go to split tone as you click on the one little drop down you'll notice the way the other one the texture one has now closed we got the highlight saturation the highlight hue is set there to uh, sepia I'm gonna leave that as it is you got the shadow saturation I'm gonna take it into more into the blues something like that you can take the saturation up and you can see the way that's working like that let's just drop it down a touch or two I like the way we got the blues the textures yeah that looks pretty good like that you got the balance you can take it right into the shadows you can make it bluer you can take it into the highlights making it more of that sepia tone I'm gonna to bring it back into that position I like the way that is working we started with basic adjustments but we've also got add adjustment this could be interesting right let's take a look yeah I know it's me I've got to go for a vignette right with the vignette we can move the strength up as we start to move the strength up you'll notice there it is but let's just take a look at this vignette if you come to transition this after all is the feather I can move it into this position knocking the feather right down size does what it says on the can makes it bigger or smaller the roundness we can make it into like an old TV screen well I was told that's what it's like not that I remember them you can go for a nice classic oval vignette bring the transition up into this position here dropping the size uh, dropping it taking it up and let's just play with the strength a little bit dropping the strength down click on that little eye icon it allows you to see the before the after I must be honest those people from Topaz have done a really fantastic job with this particular plug-in right a little bit of a spot there and there not going to worry we can clean those up in Photoshop when we go back into it right let's go to another adjustment because what I'd like to do is I'd like to go to a color overlay and with the color overlay I'm going to click on this we're going to take it into that sort of position there I'm going to darken it down into this area I'm going to click OK we can change the blend mode you might like to try soft lights you can see the way it's working from normal there's soft lights like that opacity dropping it down slightly into this area again we got the before we got the after just a nice subtle tone with that in fact we can always go to spot and just remove it from the center part how does that look yeah I like the way that's working right let's fold that up out of the way one more let's click on this you've actually got loads of different ones to choose from you can actually go to light leaks as well you can go to dust and scratches that's quite a uh, nice one as well you can bring your cursor over them and you can see the way we can just introduce a little bit of dust and scratches into our picture scrolling through there it's probably a bit heavy and um, there's one I just clicked on and it's disappeared now was it that one yeah I like what that does to the picture I'm going to leave that as it is. Let's fold that up out of the way. Let's come and do the final one. It is honestly going to be the final one, which is a border. Once again, we have got all. You can narrow it down if you want to, but I'm just going to scroll through. As you bring your cursor over those little thumbnails, so it shows you. This is the one I've got in mind, and you're thinking, hang on a second, we're losing the bottom part of the picture. Well, that's okay. You can flip it vertical, and if you're thinking, well, it's a bit heavy, just come to size we can move the size up into that area there we can drop the opacity down into this position great stuff like the way that's working and uh, just taking a look you might like to try various blend modes with this but I've got a feeling multiply is probably the better one with this just adjusting that let's come back to texture and don't forget with texture I actually use spot looking at it now will brush work better 
No, I think spot is pretty good. Let's go back to the center. I just want to narrow this down a little bit more into that position there. Great stuff. I'm going to click on OK. Don't forget this is a smart object, smart filter, which will allow us to come back into it at any time. Just waiting for it to go through. And there it is. It is now opened in Photoshop. If we want to go back, just double click on Topaz Textured Effects. But look what that's done to the picture. Fantastic or what? Go on, give it a try. The new Topaz uh, Textured Effect, what can I say about it? Absolutely brilliant. Go on, give it a go. Until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.